Hello, we're on to day two of Advent and Vlogmas and I'm going to just dive in and open door two of my skein and the stitch Advent calendar. Here we are. It's another greenish one. Ooh, darker than the last one. So this is yesterday's and yeah, even in that this light, you can see that it's it's darker, similar, darker. The name of this one is an unexpected party, because on the next section in the Hobbit, it's all about the dwarves arriving at Bilbo's house and just turning up and announcing themselves and hanging up their hoods and then demanding food, um, and poor Bilbo is all flustered. So he, I showed you this yesterday. Um, I'm going to just add to this, quickly get this one wound up, add to it, and that'll be me. This morning I have craft group to look forward to. That's um, just a few minutes around the corner, and I'll look forward to catching up with everyone there. All sorts of different craft. I'll uh, get some footage and I'll pop that in later. And apart from that, I'm not sure what I'm up to in the afternoon. Hopefully get out for another crisp walk and some knitting done. And I've also brought my... I'm covering it up. My Christmas mug. This one does have coffee in today. Can we see? Yes. <laughs> it does have something in. I have strong coffee. I woke up at 5am this morning and stayed in bed till about 6. Got up around 6, made a cup of tea and then about half an hour later just checked Instagram and things on my phone and uh, threads. I'm enjoying threads at the moment and then I got up and had some breakfast. It was a thick OT based smoothie. So I've got strong coffee now. And yesterday I started my Christmas mugs and whips hashtag on Instagram and that went down well. A few people have shared already, so yay. And a lot of people saying I need to dig out the Christmas mugs or go and find some. Charity shops, secondhand shops um, are a great source at the minute. And certainly the ones around here are full of Christmas decorations and Christmas themed things and mugs. So um, hopefully you can find some near where you are and you can just join in with whichever craft you are doing. I am going to go take a picture once I've wound the yarn and share with this one. So I'll catch up with you later on. Saturday mornings are normally craft group and I took my cuppa with me. It started to snow halfway through which was amazing. And here's everyone's work. There was colour work knitting, my own as well, some uh, loom knitting, there's my crochet and these cute little button trees and then I had to just walk around the garden when I got home and crunch in the fresh snow and here are all the birds we gave them lots of food and they were very happy and then we went for a walk later in the afternoon and this is the first footage of my finished Christmas food mitts and here is a beautiful sunset on the golf course <laughs> and here I am filming that scene that you have just looked at. It was a fab walk. Well, that was an interesting day. I certainly didn't expect snow. I was really surprised. Um, someone turned up at craft group and said that it was snowing and I dashed outside and that's where there was the video with the, the roof that was broken and just a little bit of gentle snow. And then when we came out, there was a good inch, maybe an inch and a bit of snow. Um, and then I, I trampled around the back garden in the fresh snow just to get some footprints and then in the afternoon we went for that walk and that was really good as well. The light was just lovely and it was good to watch the sun setting. I got lots done today. I finished off my Christmas pood mitts. This is my second pair. It's a pattern by Charlotte Stone and this is the smallest size. And it's stranded colour work knitting and I really enjoyed these. These are in Lang Wool <laughs> Javel, um, which is a four ply mixture, super wash, uh, wool and nylon. And I really like working with it. And these are a gift for my friend Gwen and I'll get them blocked and I'll get them off to her in time to wear them this December. I got the crochet done using today's skein from the advent calendar. And this is how it's looking, if I hold it that way around. So yesterday's colour was the slightly paler one. 
today's was darker so you can see it there if I hold it there you can see the line um, just it's a nice a subtle color change I like it I'm enjoying how this is looking it's got a good drape to it and yeah I'm happy with that so I got all of today's skein done I haven't tied in any ends yet because this is a new design that I'm designing myself and there's a, a chance that I decide I don't like it so I'm not going to sew ends in in case I want to rip it all out and I made a steady bit of progress on my knitting I got the pattern printed because I'm going to need it for the chart let's see there you can see the pattern it's like another colour work pattern and this one is by Abby who is from Devon with Love comment on her wee logo at the top there I got the pattern on Etsy, you can get it on Ravelry as well, and yep, yeah, happy with that. The second design of hers that I have followed, and I've done quite a bit today. I've finished the cuff, which I'm working in a navy yarn, and then I've just started, and I've switched, oh you can see the sparkle, I've switched to this indie dyed yarn with sparkle through it, and the white is Lang yarn again. And I've done three rounds of colour work. And that's how far I've got with that. So, I haven't sewn in the ends because it's too dark. I found it really quite tricky working on that cuff. I did most of the cuff at night time and it was hard to see. It's almost almost black, that cuff. Um, so I haven't sewn in the ends because it would just have been too dark to see where the colours were exactly. And finally, I've just finished my reading for today's section of The Hobbit um, and I've got a picture to share with you. Here are the dwarves and Bilbo in the middle and they're at the green dragon ready to set off on their adventure and there they are. So today's, um, oh what was today's colour? I cannot remember. Um, it was just moments ago in the video, <laughs> you probably remember. Um, I've read that bit, they've started off with the dwarves and they're about to meet some unsavoury characters. <laughs> that is where I will leave it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you missed yesterday's, go back and check that one out. There'll be a little um, card up the top and you can just click on that if you want to take back to yesterday's. And if not, I shall catch you tomorrow. Bye for now.